All right, so quick video lesson. Kind of a slow day, a little bit in the morning. There was some action, but overall, kind of slow. Um, made only a hundred bucks today, just a scratch. I had a decent morning, and then I just butchered it in the afternoon. I'll go over it right now. Um, first play of the day, Isage right out of pre market. We got a solid pre um, previous high at daybreak over 23.6, I believe is what it was, or 23.4, so somewhere in that area, mid 23s. Um, we got a low float, yeah, low float, former runner, holding up, squeezing, high, um, short interest rate. And I was looking for a solid squeeze, except I had some bad nerves this morning. I don't usually trade pre-market, so it was already kind of risky for me. But I had a great average at like 23 38 or it wasn't it was pretty low, like right on this candle when it started perking, I got in. And then I put my limit order for a quick 10% and regretted that instantly. It just blew right through it and it kept going offered five more bucks um four more bucks but then it faded the whole day um but yeah so this one just got ruined by emotion if i would have just been more patient and just see what it had to offer would have worked out nicely but in this case I just took my quick gain, still not bad, 10%. I'll take it all day, every day, but when you see it keep going like this, it hurts a little bit. Um, and then we got C Pop, my other successful trade. Just a perfect um, VWAP reclaim right here. 287 was my average, I believe. Another relatively low float, was doing insane volume was going crazy this is the one that took off after hours yesterday and I saw it confirming the previous high a day failed to break down I thought we could retest the fours that didn't happen uh, but overall pretty good trade sold at 330 right near the high here um, so yeah so it was choppy, needed some time to consolidate, this was a little exhausting, strong push here, chopped around, dipped, that was kind of scary, um, almost wanted to sell, but then remember the video lesson I made yesterday, it was about just holding as long as the trend is intact, so decided to sit on my hands, see what it does, then we got this perk here, and then I looked at the volume and it just looked horrible so I put an order at 330 and then it ended up tapping it and getting me out which I really enjoyed we did have a bounce here and a fake out here after hours um, but that's that this market almost a hit and a miss <laughs> yesterday great calls today we're just dealing with choppiness, and then that will go the same with Pixie. This one, actually, great call yesterday. I said that this is going to gap up and test 175. It got to the 190s here. Beforehand, it did get to, like, the 260s, I believe. Um, but by the time uh, it gets tracked on, what do you call it, Street Smart Edge, and I'm able to trade it and get out. It wasn't until 4 o'clock, so we got a nice gap up. Here we just got a failure at the beginning. Failure to break down as well, so we do have a little range here. Late day, we got a nice hold of VWAP, which I didn't take. Uh, then we start itching closer to 169, which was the open price. Took a starter there. Took some more at 174. Breaking the high of day, thinking we'll retest two, maybe... 220 and then it just got dumped on and that's the reason why my gains just got eaten up there was this 
garbage of a trade. As well as having a little bit of a wider risk, I was buying up here, risking down around 160, 159. So, and the average was 172. Had decent size because, you know, I I really thought this was going to be it. Should have taken more of a look at the volume. That would have given me a better indication or a better picture of what was going on. Um, but yeah, so a little bit mixed feelings about today. Not awful. Honestly, it really was just this. Most of the day, I was sitting on my hands. Um, enjoyed C pop, but yeah, right now this market is hot one day, choppy the next. I hear OTCs right now are kind of going off. Uh, but right now, we also had BFRI. That was a decent play. Nothing spectacular, honestly. Um, just a quick first green bounce day. Could have traded as a VWAP. Had a, nearly a dollar a share, just about 10%. So, not a whole ton. Nothing's really squeezing yet. But, this could also mean they're setting up for something more. Uh, this one does look like it's fading. But, keep in mind where it came from. still above the previous high day. And, if this thing fails to break down, consolidates for a little bit, we'll get a solid 350 break. I think we'll easily see the mid fours, maybe even higher. It is a lower float. It's doing insane volume. If it could keep up the volume, it will definitely squeeze shorts out. Um, but for now, just got to sit on my hands, see what tomorrow brings. And although I do regret, you know, taking my quick snipes, in this market environment, that's exactly what you have to do. You got to take your quick 10, 15%, maybe 20%, and just get out. Not many really continue. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's it for the day. There wasn't really many things to look at. Let me look the scanner real quick. After our spiker here, I think. Kinda. We'll see what this does tomorrow. Yeah. Decent little break above five. Not the greatest history, but low float. Um, history of spiking. I just think it could hold up around five. Break above it. We could possibly see six or seven um, could be a decent idea to wait for the 550 break here but depending how it opens up could be open price play v wall play don't know exactly yet what it's gonna offer uh, but just gotta line up all the bullish signals and yeah that should be it for the day there's not really a whole ton go to go over kind of making this video less longer than it needs to be um, just keep an eye on these recent runners they're still kind of holding up except for pixie and even this one still holding up we'll see what happens tomorrow these will be potential multi-day bounces soon um, yeah we'll just wrap this up hopefully tomorrow is a better day and just kind of get some rest now